I've talked for 12 minutes and I've not said anything remotely useful. That's not uh, unusual. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. But da 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 da. No, no singing today. It's time for my ums. If you don't know what my ums are, they're the things that I liked a little bit more than some other things. These are my monthly mediocres for de December. No. These are my monthly mediocres for October. These are my monthly mediocres for the last month, which was September. So out of breath from just saying words. So that's not worrying at all. The first thing that I liked from this month is called The Great British Bake Off. It's one of the most popular shows ever in the history of ever. It, it, it tele, it's from television of ever. Did you understand how popular it is from that? It's like more popular than Doctor Who, probably more popular than Downton Abbey. The Great British Bake Off, I already said that, is a, a baking competition. Someone gets voted off each week, you know, yada 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 yada. You, you get the idea. And it's the final tomorrow night shit's gonna go down basically that's what i want to basically get across to you basically but it's basically it's uh basically a <laughs> there's two judges mary berry she's a national treasure paul hollywood is very popular with the ladies uh, personally i don't really see it but each to their own i think people enjoy seeing people who are so passionate about a hobby making all kind of crazy cakes and biscuits and weird things but they look so good and I want to eat all of them but yet I can't because I'm not there and that sucks that's my least favorite part of the show I think a lot of people watch it purely for the innuendos I did get some leakage it did seep mm. common problem in baking is moisture where you don't actually want moisture the last thing you want is a pie with a soggy bottom typically I do this on the floor because it gets so stiff yeah, um, well we've all been there haven't we? You've got two hours to pop Mary's cherry. Oh, so two, it takes two hours. Could you do it faster? I don't know. Stop touching your dough balls. All right, I've told you before, I'm just stop it. It's really inappropriate. It's making everybody uncomfortable. I'm aiming to get this thing flipping massive. Get your mind out of the gutters. It's obviously talking about bread. I quite like the idea of having some big ones. Yeah, I mean, don't we all? Bigger is sometimes, but it just me well, it means that there's more of it. More. Uh, I've toasted some nuts off. You've got to be careful when you're toasting nuts because they can burn very, very easily. There's a very fine line between untoasted nuts and over toasted nuts. You want something quite rigid, but something that will taste good too. Yeah, okay, so possibly talking about biscuits? I prefer um, a harder biscuit than a softer biscuit. And obviously you want it to taste good because that's like the whole point of putting that in your mouth. Something else that I liked is called my plant. It looked better than this at one point. I'd, I've clearly not been a very good plant parent. Might it be dead or might it just be you know, having like a bit of an off day. Obviously I've watered it, um, but not over watered it. I've talked to it, I, I doubt that that helps, but I, and I you know, I've stroked its leaves. <laughs> I even told it some jokes um, to try and just like perk it up a little bit, but no such luck. They weren't great jokes, but still, you know, you just, you think it would get some kind of a reaction. Fingers crossed that you, you get a little bit better. Uh, I'm sorry if you're, dead though sorry this is clearly an empty box because i already ate the contents of it um because it was chocolate and obviously I, I don't need to explain myself there i don't know if you know of this beautiful thing sent from heaven but it's called terry's chocolate orange chocolate orange and honeycomb two of my favorite things they smushed them together and made a delicious katie approved beautiful snack these might not exist where you are you might not have access to them um, and if that's the case like have you considered moving at all I think this is a, a worthy reason to relocate I can't really talk about September without talking about veg again I know one day I'll stop talking about it I promise but today is not that day <laughs> 
I had a nephew that was welcomed into the world in September. So I'll be honest, that was my favourite thing that happened. I mean, although I did really, I did really enjoy this. I'm gonna say that having a nephew, I'd, I'd put that probably above everything else. Gotta be a really like cool auntie, which isn't gonna be difficult, is it? <laughs> Uh, final thing is this that's on my wrist here. I think I actually got this in August, but shh, don't, don't tell the YouTube police. It was super cheap. It was four pounds for this watch. It was custom made and that also included the postage and packing and it came from Asia. When you pay four pounds, you know, I don't have high expectations for it. I thought it was gonna be broken by the time it actually arrived at my house, but it's still going. Can you see that? Got um, a rib cage on it. It's just like anatomical things. I don't know why. And also it has some flowers on. So then it's like, oh, it's, that's pretty as well. It's 10 past one. Shit. I should definitely go now. Um, thank you for watching this mm's video. I'll see you next week where there'll be more of, of this. And uh, okay, bye. I'm ganashing my buns. It's just a bit bold and fat and big. It's got to be risen and rested before it goes in.